be taking a look at the uh, PLC HMI interface for the machine. First thing we'll take a look at will be the main uh, screen for the operator. And from here, uh, you can start a cycle. You can input different jobs, uh, meaning different recipes, depending on uh, what you have set up. Be able to manually uh, run the clamping frame in and out of the oven. You can also turn on and off the oven from here. Then we'll take a look at the zone layout and control for the upper and lower ovens. Here we have the upper heater. You have the ability to increase and decrease in increments of 5% here. You also have the ability to uh, independently change each zone depending on your heat output requirements. From here we can uh, also go into our lower heat setup which is going to work in exactly the same way. screen. So from the main screen uh, we can start a cycle by pressing the start cycle button. That will uh, drive the clamping frame into the oven. Once the clamping frame has reached the oven it will uh, time out and come back. anything set for timings right now. So we'll input job number one, which we have some previously saved uh, timings in. So we'll load job number one, go to the timer setup, then it has filled in uh, some of the timings here. And uh, we can look at uh, the heat time. That's the amount of time that the clamping frame will be inside the oven. We have the fan start delay meaning when the clamping frame reaches the forming area, this is the amount of time that the fans will delay until they turn on. Then you have the duration, how long the fans will be on for. You can also delay the upper table, the lower table, upper vacuum, lower vacuum. And then the auxiliary is gonna be for the upper air on this machine. Then you have your lower, upper and lower back uh, duration. This is the amount of time that those functions will be active for. So once we have some settings uh, put in the, into the PLC here, we'll start a cycle. You can see it indicates that the carriage is forward. That means the clamping frame is moving forward into the oven. And once it reaches the oven, uh, you'll have a countdown here, and that represents the amount of time uh, left in the heating cycle. Once that expires, the clamping frame will come out of the oven, and then the rest of the timings of the machine will activate, starting with the delay, and then moving into the duration of each one of those items we just looked at. From here, you also have the option to advance and abort. So if we were to hit advance, uh, it would stop the heating cycle, bring the clamping frame back to the forming area, and then finish the rest of the timings as it normally would. If we were to hit abort, it would remove the clamping frame uh, from the oven and come back to the forming area 
and stop. So it won't uh, activate any of the other timings. So we're gonna hit advance to prematurely stop the heating cycle. And then you'll see carriage reverse. So the lower tool moving up is represented here. Then we have our lower vacuum turn on. Then we have our fans turn on. And once the lower vacuum has uh, completely uh, expired, then the air blast will activate, which will inject a small amount of air uh, into the, uh, the mold to help with release of the mold. And the rest of these functions we're just not using right now, but they'd all work the same. You can also uh, control the air blast. So if you don't want to use it at all, you can set it for zero. Uh, standardly, you'd have it set for about a half a second, maybe a little bit longer, just depending on what it is. And if we want to prematurely uh, end the rest of these cycles, we can always hit abort. And that will end uh, anything that's left timing-wise uh, in the cycle.